What's good everybody, Jake here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to create a video on nutrition and dieting, right? My personal thoughts. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, just kind of collection of what I think about nutrition, how I go about nutrition, personally what I do to follow the six core metrics, all right? To start, my nutrition personally has been everywhere over these past 20 years. Um, I really started to take control of my nutrition about a year ago. Uh, that's when I really started to focus on dialing in on what I'm doing with my dieting, um, what kind of foods I'm eating. Is it good for my body? Is, should I be putting this in my mouth? That's what I really started to you know, kind of look at everything, look at labels, but I'm not obviously neat picking everything. I'm understanding when I look at a food and now and I go, okay, this, this is gonna be right for me. Um, but I follow these six core metrics and shout out to Eugene Teo, um, this, this fitness um, entrepreneur that I've been following for a while now, very intelligent man, if you wanna go check him out. Uh, he's got an Instagram page, Eugene Teo. He kind of formulated these six core metrics to follow for a nutrition or a diet plan. And personally, this is actually a great way to look at it. I myself have never really gotten into any diet plans, specifically like paleo diets. Um, you got carnivore, you got vegan, you got keto. There's so many diets out there. I myself has never have never actually followed one. I've tried foods from those, like I've tried obviously a vegan type dish. I've tried a paleo dish, a keto dish here and there, but I don't really stick to the diet plan because it doesn't work for me. And you'll notice when I said it doesn't work for me, that's the main theme, right? That's the main theme of a lot of these videos that I create. Like in the last one where I talked about my thoughts on working out, I said how everybody's body is different. So a workout that may work for someone may not work for another person, just like dieting. A diet that may work for an individual like me may not work for another one, may not work for someone else because their body composition is different. And that's actually the first core metric. It's the body composition. So body composition, you know, just how you can actually even test your percentage of fat if you want to go into more in depth of doing um, nutrition based. But that's all up to you. It's all preference up to the individual. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of birds right here. Or not birds. Got some ducks coming up. Got this one hopping up here. But anyways, um, I don't know if this duck's coming right up to me. Let's see him right here. Okay, he's joining in. He's joining in on the nutrition plan. Um, he wants to get a little bit of context. Yeah, you come over. All right, so he wants to hear a little bit about this because these six core metrics are huge in my opinion. Um, so the first one, like I said, was body composition. Now to follow that, there are two other ones that I feel like are huge. And this is shout out to Eugene again. Inside, oh, they're going in. Hold on, we gotta pause for a second. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, did you guys hear about that? Okay, they heard the first one, body composition. They know that their body composition is good. Now they're wondering, okay, what are the other five? The second one is how is your energy outside of the gym, all right? How, when you're eating your food day by day, when you're going about just putting food into your body, you're following a, a, maybe a specific diet. If you are following a carnivore diet, if you are following a vegan diet, take note of how your energy is outside of the gym. Likewise, take note how your energy is inside of the gym. So that's the, thir the third one. So we have body composition. How is your energy outside of the gym, right? Are you collapsing midday? Are you, are you full energized throughout the whole entire day? You can get stuff done, your mind doesn't fall. And how is your energy in the gym, right? When you're actually working out, can you work out on the food that you're eating? Is, is it the right type of food for you? You know, are you following that correct diet to actually hit that set and if you're trying to hit for hypertrophy, strength, you can you can maybe have more leeway on calories, taking more calories, right? A higher intake. And that kind of goes along with spending, right? Finances and and nutrition. Because that's a big, big part, right? How much am I spending versus how much should I be, how much am I be buying, you know, to actually help maybe I'm trying to lose weight, maybe I'm trying to gain muscle. If you're trying to gain muscle, you might have a little more leeway with spending. You know, if you actually take in more money, you might want to be spending a little more so you can actually take in more calories. It all depends. It's all preference up to you, like I said. So those are the three so far. So we had the body composition, your energy outside the gym, your energy inside the gym, which I think is 
really, really important, especially just for me because uh, working out. The next one would be nutrient deficiency. Now, what do I mean by nutrient deficiency? Now, we can actually look at two diet types like the carnivore diet and the vegan diet, right? If you are following a specific diet, diet take note of that diet. Take note the nutrients you might be deficient in. Now, how might you do this? Specifically, what I do is I use this app. Um, it's called Chronometer, I believe. I'll put it in the description below. It helped me a lot. I've been using it for a while now, but what I'll do is all the foods that I um, that I'm about to eat, I'll scan it, I'll scan the barcode on it and it'll come up and then it'll tell me the nutrients I'm getting from that food. So it's real simple. You don't, and it's all preference. If you want to be nitpicky with, you know, putting the specific amount of this in, putting this, this in, um, you know, how many grams of this are you having? How many tablespoons of this are you having? You can do that. It's all preference. Um, I am a little bit of a nitpicky with it because I like to see throughout it, throughout my whole span of a week, how much am I actually getting from um, this type of food? So I'll scan the barcode and then I'll see at the end of the day, okay, I was deficient in iron, you know, I was deficient in magnesium. And this kind of gives you a whole look, a basis as to where, you know, oh, okay, now I know what to look at. Now I know what to have more of in my diet. So if you were to try a paleo diet, a pagan diet, a, a carnivore diet, this is kind of, this, this, um, metric is kind of a great way to see if it's going to be right for you for your body type because with the chronometer app you can put in your weight you know goals you're trying to reach did you work out that day you know metabolism so there's so much that goes into it also with dieting all right so we have the body composition energy inside the gym energy outside the gym nutrient deficiency another huge huge one is um, sleep sleep how are you sleeping right is your sleep, you, you really take note of this, you know, sleeping sleeping overall as a whole, you should be feeling energized in the morning. If you're not getting enough sleep, you know, consistently, that's how I think you should really map out these metrics, these six metrics. Look at it in the week, in the week span. If you look at it day by day, it's gonna be hard to tell, you know, um, what you're actually feeling in that day. But if you look at it as a whole week, you can then, you know, look back at the week and say, oh, okay, uh, my sleep was terrible. You know, I didn't get enough sleep during that whole week. Um, I was eating this kind of, I was eating this diet, I was having this diet plan and, you know, I was just going to bed real late. I was staying up. I couldn't get up. I was like groggy when I was getting out of bed. So kind of take note of that and understand like, oh, okay, I, I need to dial back on this. I need to maybe switch it up in, in the, um, in the diet, in the diet plan. All right. So I cut out in the end right there, but I had one more metric to cover, and that was a big one in my opinion, which is mood and hunger. Um, like I just said before I cut out, I was talking about your, you know, looking at this nutrition plan that you're gonna go about at a week span, right? Day by day, you can definitely look at like mood and hunger. You can definitely look at the end of the night when it comes to the end of the night, and you think, okay, I was really, I'm really, I was really groggy throughout the day after I ate that food. I, I felt anger. I was sad. You know that that food might have destroyed my hunger. It might have, it might have increased my hunger. You know. So there's so many ways to look at it. But when you look at it as a whole week, then you can kind of understand. Oh, that whole last week, I was happy, right? I was ecstatic. What was I eating? Then think back. You could even look at that chronometer that you were um, scanning food with and use that as an example to kind of relay back to, oh, okay, I ate this for breakfast, I had this for lunch, I had this for dinner, I was drinking this, I was doing that, you know? So kind of just look at that as a span, but for mood, that's huge, right? You know, you could eat something and feel bad the next second, you could eat something and feel happy the next second because food not only affects our body but 20 percent of it goes to our brain so how we think is um plays a huge role in this as well that being said hunger you could have food that you know you're eating you're eating you're thinking it's doing it's it's doing a great job of keeping you full but an hour later you're back in the pantry you're back in the fridge eating more so uh, i actually have a video out on this not on hunger but I made a shake, I think I put it in my YouTube channel. I made a shake that was quick to make, it's easy to make, but not only that, I stress the importance of how it keeps me full for most of the day, right? When I drink this shake, I make sure that I'm not going to be eating something after it because what I put in this shake fills my body, right? It fills my stomach, I can then eat later in the afternoon if I want to, and the shake has everything that I need nutrition-wise as well. So 
something to keep in mind, but I wanted to just share those six core metrics that I thought were very important and very key. And just nutrition and dying it as a whole, it's just something, it's just a great topic to talk about and something to look at, and I'll definitely be talking about it more in the future. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Stay happy out there. Stay healthy. Peace. All right, guys, here's the outro right here. Um, shout out to the homies for joining me in the video. You guys have any words? Yeah, you said, you said your nutrition's bad? Hold up. You said what? You said your sleep's bad? Yeah, okay. All right. You said subscribe? Okay, they said subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a like. Um, yeah, peace, guys. It was, it was fun. All right, all right. Peace, yo.